It was even more cold-blooded than we first imagined. And that's at the core of what we learned today about the murder of Officer Sonny Kim. If you're just joining us, here are some of the points Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters revealed today. This was not a case of so-called suicide by cop. Dieters says Trey Pierre Hummins wanted to massacre police officers. He says if Officer Tom Sandman hadn't killed Hummins, more people would have been killed. The first shot that hit Sonny Kim was likely the fatal shot. Kim was apparently caught off guard when he arrived at the corner of Wetzel Avenue and Rose Street in Madisonville and saw Hummins and his mother in the street. She did not know her son was armed when she asked Kim to help because her son was acting strangely. Night on your sides, Tom McKee has more on why the bulletproof vest didn't work in this case. Tom? Well, this is a vest that Sonny Kim might have been wearing, similar to that. It's kept in place by a stretchable fabric, and it's through this material that the fatal bullet found its way. When Sonny Kim confronted Trey Pierre Hummins on that Madisonville street in June, he pulled out his taser when he saw Hummins behind his mother. She didn't know her son had a gun in the waistband of his pants. He's walking up behind his mom and just goes around his mom. And, and the investigators think that the first shot was the fatal one. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter says the bullet went between the expandable webbing of Kim's bulletproof vest. And if had it hit one of the ribs of that vest, it would have stopped it. But it went between two, two of the ribs, uh, hit his artery there, pulmonary artery, and it was non-survivable. A centimeter either way, and Kim might still be alive. It's just a horrible piece of luck. I mean, horrible. Hummins grabbed the fallen officer's gun and, as this cruiser cam video shows, began firing at specialist Tom Salmon, who shot back, killing Hummins. Acting Chief Elliot Isaac says procedures were followed to the letter. We have the best trained officers in the country. Our officers are professional and they're vigilant. Um, they recognize that at times these things uh, do happen and they respond in the appropriate fashion. Dieters didn't mince words in his praise for Kim. Sonny was everything Hummins was not. He was a loving father, a loving husband. He dedicated his life to this city, and ultimately he paid the ultimate price to protect us. Now the investigation is over, the case is closed. Had Hummins lived, he would have been charged with aggravated murder with a recommendation for the death sentence. Tom McKean, on your side, live downtown.